My fiancé cheated on me with my father. I made it a point to visit Elle at college as often as possible, and we spent time together whenever she was home. Upon her graduation, Elle moved in with me since our jobs were located in the city near our childhood homes. Like me, she secured a position at her current company, which offered excellent pay. After living together for about three years, I proposed, and we've been planning our wedding ever since. Now, I'll delve into the part you're all here for. Looking back, there were plenty of things I overlooked that I simply dismissed thinking my father was just trying to welcome my ex into our family. For instance, my father would call her frequently, and if I was around, they would tell me they were discussing the upcoming family party or something along those lines. Once, when Elle was in the shower and her phone rang, I saw it was my dad, so I answered. When he realized it was me, he sounded both upset and surprised. I then asked what was up, and he responded that he wanted to talk to Elle about my mother's birthday, which was in a week. After a minute, we ended the call, even typing this out now, I feel foolish for not seeing it sooner. The day I found out was like any other day. Elle had Thursdays off, so she made breakfast for both of us. When I set out for work, she gave me a kiss and told me to have a great day. During my drive to work, I realized I had forgotten some paperwork I would need for a meeting at 3 p.m. I shrugged it off and told myself I would just go home at lunch to get it. Elle texted me throughout the day, talking about all the casual stuff couples discuss, like what we wanted for dinner, mentioning she had done the laundry and asking if I wanted her to hang it up for me and so on. I didn't think it necessary to text her that I was coming home for lunch. So when the time came, I just left work and went home. When I arrived home, I noticed a car resembling my father's in our parking lot, but I thought nothing of it and parked before entering our building. Upon opening the door, I was confronted with a scene straight out of a movie where a man comes home early to find his spouse cheating. A complete cliche. A trail of clothes, both his and hers, led to my bedroom, and the sound of faint moans echoed through my apartment. I stood at the door in utter shock, my mind a tumult of rage, sadness, and disgust. To an observer, I might have appeared as nothing more than a statue immobilized by the situation. Eventually, snapping back to reality, without knowing how much time had passed, I took out my phone to record. I gathered all the clothes from the floor and threw them into the hallway of the building. Then, I filmed my approach to the bedroom. The door was open. I stood in the doorway filming for about a minute before flipping on the lights. They both jumped at the sudden illumination and turned to look at me, revealing, to my absolute shock, my father in bed with her. Upon realizing I was recording, my father father began to panic, scrambling to find something to cover himself with and urging me to stop recording. He managed to wrap a towel around himself and started walking towards me. I warned him to stay back if he didn't want to get hurt, but he either didn't care or didn't hear me and reached for my phone. I struck him squarely on the jaw, causing his head to bounce off the doorframe and him to slump to the ground. L shrieked. I turned the camera on L and said, concerned about your buddy but nothing to say to your fiancé? My father regained consciousness after about a minute nap, and I told them I had only needed to pick something up for work, so I was heading back now. I warned that if either of them were still there when I returned, I would send the video to everyone they knew. I ended the video, looked at my father, who was still coming too, and told him, you're dead to me, you're no longer my father, but you might want to go home and talk to mom because I'll be talking to her very soon. I sat in my car for a while until one of the bosses at work called to ask where I was. I told her I was on my way back right then. When I arrived at her office to hand over the paperwork, I must have looked awful because she immediately started asking what was wrong with me. I assured her it was nothing and that I'd be okay. She scanned me up and down, noticing some blood on my collar, and rushed over, expressing concern about my bleeding. I looked down and mentioned it was my father's blood, which confused her. So, I pulled out my phone and showed her the video. She watched it in its entirety. She had met Elle a few times, but never my father. After a moment of silence, the reality of the situation situation hit her. That my fiancé was cheating on me and, shockingly, it was with my father. She inquired if there was anything she could do, suggesting I take some time off. However, I explained that I couldn't return home at that moment and just needed a minute to compose myself for the meeting, adding that I had a spare shirt in my office. The meeting proceeded well. I managed to smile and act as if nothing had happened. My boss approached me afterwards, marveling at how I could maintain my composure, to which I simply replied, I don't know, and retreated to my office. Later, I came home to find myself alone for the first time in a very long time.